Hey guys, this is Tom from eDirectory. Thanks again for tuning in to our Getting Started video series. In this video, we're going to cover how to add a slider image to your eDirectory site. Let's log in and get started. I'm going to pull up the site manager area uh, of the example directory that we've been working in uh, throughout this Getting Started video series. So if you've watched some of the other videos, you've seen us add uh, a travel directory logo as well as uh, style uh, some of the rest of the front end here, add a category, add a listing, and also link an email address. Uh, so now we're going to work on adding a slider image. Now the slider images uh, populate this area here. That's going to push down this existing content and it really fills out uh, this entire area and is a great place to add some high resolution images uh, that can also be uh, added with some links. Uh, so it's really a great place to off offer some uh, additional advertising as well uh, as you can sell these as prime real estate uh, on your directory site uh, as they include links as well uh, they can really be uh, in demand for your directory uh, so let's log back into our site manager and work on adding some we're going to head over to the content manager section uh, and down here is our slider tool we can add up to four slider images let's click on that uh, let's add a slider image for uh, the listing that we added previously. It's called Paradise Travel. Just need a little description here. So the title and the summary description are both going to show up on the image. Paradise, something like that. Uh, your image file, we recommend it is uh, 945 pixels by 409 pixels. Otherwise, your image is going to look a bit stretched if it, it doesn't fit those exact dimensions. And it should be a JPEG, GIF, or PNG. Let's go and select the file here. Paradise Slider. Include some alt text. Paradise Travel. Uh, image title. Uh, and the link here, so we can link this to something within our directory or uh, something outside of our directory. Uh, this is a existing listing uh, in our directory. I'm going to pull up uh, this page here so I can copy uh, the URL link up top here. And I'm going to paste that in. So I have the option for this to open in a new window or for it to just open within my existing browser window. Uh, so I'm going to leave this unchecked as I recommend any internal links to show up uh, within the existing browser so you don't have users leaving your site. Uh, as you can see the link here is to a temporary domain I have on the eDirectory cloud. I can update that later. Uh, maybe if I purchase the travel directory domain or something like that. So let's save our changes and check out our image here. So we have the Paradise Travel image. I can edit this if I want. Uh, we're going to leave it there. Let's go back to the front end, uh, refresh our site here and check out what our first uh, slider image looks like. So we have this nice wide angle image uh, and you can see this little blue box here. You can change those colors in the design and customization section uh, and there will be up to four boxes here if you have four images. You can click between them otherwise they rotate every five to six seconds uh, and our link is located up here on this title here. You can see in the bottom left hand side of this video screen uh, when I hover the mouse over it shows the according link there. And I can click on that and it will take me to this listing. So let me uh, quickly add a second slider image here. Let's see, slider. Uh, and just add a quick title here, just so you guys can see what more than one Just so you guys can see what uh, multiple slider images will look like as they rotate through. Let me save that. This will be a travel photography blog. So now we have two images here now. And let's uh, refresh our front end here. And we're now going to see that we have two image blocks here. Uh, and it's going to rotate to that second image automatically. There we go. So we have that there. So, so this one uh, does not have a link. It doesn't have any description text uh, to show you what that would look like. Uh, so thanks for tuning in to this Getting Started video where we covered how to add a slider image to your eDirectory site. As always, reach out to us uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns or just want to show us some cool examples of your site. Otherwise, thanks. I'll see you guys later.